wonderful to worship together. <laughs> Amen. I'm going Amen. To, to be sharing today on a message I have entitled Lessons from Jonah. Most of us know the story of Jonah, right? But mm -hmm. each time we read, there is something that we get from there. There's a teaching as we meditate on the word of God, the Lord will give us interpretation for the season. Amen. Amen. So we're going to read from the book of Jonah today. If we can open our Bibles to the book of Jonah. So the book of Jonah has four chapters, but I'm not going to read everything in each chapter. Okay. Okay. Because we are not going to exhaust um, everything if I read all the chapters. Let's start with chapter one. So please take time to read um, the entire book for understanding so that you are not left behind and you are not wondering where I got what I'm going to teach about. In your spare time, please read. I always encourage us to read. Let us not be lazy. Let us read the word of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jonah chapter one, I'll start from verse one. I'm using NIV for this part. I'll just read the first three verses. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amite. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it because its wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarshish. He went down to Joppa where he found a ship bound for that port. After paying the fare, he went aboard and sailed for Tashis to flee from the Lord. Amen. <laughs> so we are told that Jonah was a prophet. Therefore, he knew the Lord. If you are a prophet, you know the Lord, right? And that is yeah. a prophet of the Lord. It means you know the Lord. It means you are in touch with the Lord. For him to give you instruction, it means you clearly hear from him. Amen. Yeah. So Amen. with Jonah, he clearly heard the Lord. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been... Uh, sent to go and deliver what the Lord had said against Nineveh, right? So Jonah knows the Lord. He has a relationship with the Lord. So instead mm -hmm. of going to Nineveh as instructed, he decides to run away from the Lord. Only <laughs> someone who doesn't know who God is would attempt to do this. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so the first lesson um, we can learn from this chapter is that you can't run away from the presence of God, right? Mm -hmm. I don't even know why Jonah thought he could. I don't know whether it's desperation. Whatever was going on in his heart, I don't know why he did that. He was on his way to Tashish, heading the different direction. So, as I was meditating on this word that the Lord had given to me, I was actually asking, you know, Lord, we know the story of Jonah. We know what it's about. But, um, by the time I sat down to write down what was, you know, coming to my spirit, I also got Psalm 139. Let's just read that. Psalm 139, I'll use ERV for this. It reads, Lord, you have tested me. So you know all about me. You know when I sit down and when I get up. You know my thoughts from far away. You know where I go and where I lie down. You know everything I do. This is scary, right? Mm. Don't you know what I want to say? Even before the words leave my mouth, you are all mm. around me, in mm. front of me, and behind me. I feel your hand on my shoulder. I'm amazed at what you know. It is too mm. much for me to understand. Mm. Your spirit is everywhere I go. I cannot escape your presence. If mm. I go to heaven, you will be there. If mm -hmm. I go down to the place of death, you will be there. Mm -hmm. If I go yeah. east where, the, where mm -hmm. the sun rises or go to live in the west beyond the sea, even mm -hmm. there, you take my hand and lead me. Your strong right hand will protect me. Suppose I wanted to hide from you and said, surely the darkness will hide me. The day will change to night and cover me. Even the darkness is not dark to you. The mm -hmm. night is as bright as the day. Darkness mm -hmm. and light are the same. That is who God is. Now, this is the Amen. psalmist, right? So David Amen. wrote this psalm. If you study the lifestyle of David, you understand Amen. that David Amen. had a relationship with God, right? Amen. He understood who God is. He understood that Amen. God created him and therefore knew everything about him. Amen. Amen. And this Amen. is what you and I must understand. 
We mm -hmm. can't continue living like Jonah thinking that God only occupies certain areas, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not like God's presence is only at a physical church. So the psalmist yeah. was saying, your spirit is everywhere mm -hmm. I go. Mm -hmm. I cannot escape your presence. So when you want to do wrong things, your mind convinces you that, ah, come on, the Lord is not seeing you. He's only there on Sunday. He's only there at church. Wait, here we are in the office, so we can do whatever. The Lord is not there. You know, it's so surprising when we talk to people, their belief is that when they are wearing their uniform, then they can't do certain things. It's like God's <laughs> eyes are, are, are covered when they wear a uniform. So you can do whatever you want to do from Monday to Friday. By Friday, you should start coming back to the Lord. Sunday, you should sit in the front seat in church. <laughs> that is where the presence <laughs> is. Everywhere else is not there. In church, you can do anything because the Lord is looking. But as soon as you step out the church, then the Lord is all of a sudden not there. That is what people believe. And if this is what you have been taught, then you've been misled. Amen. Amen. Because we are told also in Hebrews. Let's quickly Amen. read from Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13, I'll use E-R-V. It reads, nothing in all the world can be hidden from God. He can clearly see all things. Some versions say he sees every creature. He sees you and me. Nothing is hidden from him. Everything is open before him. It says our lives are laid bare before him. We can't hide. You think you can hide in the toilet. There are no cameras in the toilet, but with God. The surveillance is 24 hours. There is nothing like I'm hiding here in a corner. Or what? It's not like that. And to him, we must explain the way we have lived. Mm -hmm. This is what we are told in, in, um, in Hebrews, right? Unfortunately mm -hmm. for Jonah, God knew mm -hmm. his heart. Yeah. God knew his heart and he knew where he was running to. How foolish can mm -hmm. that be? I was being reminded, you know, it's like children. If you've looked at the toddlers, right? When, they, when your children are young, they will do certain things and they'll think they're hiding. Meanwhile, you're standing mm -hmm. right there and you are seeing that they're right behind the chair. You are seeing that they have, they have stolen mm -hmm. some condensed milk or some yogurt or whatever and they're hiding or they're getting sugar. Mm -hmm. So when they turn around, all of a sudden they realize you've been watching all along. And you know the embarrassment. This was, this was Jonah. He thought mm -hmm. he was mm -hmm. going to run off. He thought God didn't mm -hmm. even know where he was going. Otherwise, mm -hmm. he would even have wasted his money. He paid to go yeah. to Tashish, mm -hmm. right, from Job. If, mm -hmm. if Jonah really knew what, mm -hmm. who God was, he wasn't even mm -hmm. going to begin to run mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the psalmist already says it Oh, If you yeah. understand that God has created you, then mm -hmm. he knows. It's like an architect. It's like somebody who's directing a movie. They know mm -hmm. when somebody must come in. It's not a horror movie to them. It's a horror movie mm -hmm. to you. But to mm -hmm. the person who creates that movie, it's not a horror movie. Mm -hmm. They know that, ah, there's a camera right here and I'm watching and I'm here mm. anyway, I'm the director. So this is God now looking at Jonah. So mm. God knows your heart and he knows your thoughts. Amen. Mm. Mm. So let's get back to the book of Jonah. So when he is thrown into the sea, we are told that um, a, a fish swallowed him, right? Mm. And he stayed mm. in the belly of the fish for three days and three mm. nights. So there's a revelation right here, but I'm not going to talk about the revelation today. I'll just concentrate on the lessons that we can learn today from Jonah's behavior or Jonah's character. Mm -hmm. I would like to say the behavior because his character could have been something else, but at this particular time, he didn't be behave the way he should have behaved. Mm -hmm. So then while Jonah is in the bed, he prays, he prays to God. He remembers it. What is funny mm. is he was running away from God, thinking God wasn't going to see him. But mm. when he is in the bed, he remembers that he can pray and God mm. can hear. Okay. Yeah. So Jonah knew what he was doing, though he was trying to hide from God. Right. So the Lord mm. spoke to the fish and it vomited Jonah mm. onto the dry, dry land. That is what we are told. Amen. Amen. That is now in chapter two. You can also read chapter two. Please find time to look at the prayer so that you understand where I'm getting the teaching. So that was chapter two. Let's read a bit of um, chapter three, Jonah chapter three. So the first lesson here is we can't hide. God has created us. He knows where A, B, C is. He knows each building. He knows every. He knows Amen. our our thoughts even before we speak. He already Amen. knows what we are going to say. Amen. Amen. So Amen. now Jonah chapter three reads. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah. Remember, Jonah now is on dry land. He's no longer mm. in the bed. 
Mm-hmm. So God comes back and says, mm-hmm. then the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. The mm-hmm. first time he ran away. Yeah. Go to the great city of Nineveh and proclaim it to them, proclaim it, uh, proclaim to it the message I give you. Okay. Amen. Jonah obeyed the word. God didn't change. You know, his word mm-hmm. remains the same, right? Mm-hmm. The message was going to be the same. So Jonah comes out. After praying, he comes out. He finds God. So Jonah obeyed the word of the Lord and went to Nineveh. Now, Nineveh was a very large city. It took three days to go through it. So Jonah began by going a day's journey into the city, proclaiming 40 more days and Nineveh will be overthrown. The Ninevites believed God. A fast was proclaimed and all of them from the greatest to the least put on sackcloth. If you read on, you will see even what the king said. So there was a fast pro- fast proclaimed in the city, including the animals didn't eat because they didn't want the city to be destroyed. So the people heard the message from Jonah and repented. Amen. Amen. They heard, and they didn't even argue. There was no problem there. They repented. This is what we must know about God. When he sends us to do something, he has already made a way in people's hearts. So it is not up to us to think about how Mary mm-hmm. or Joseph is going to take the message that we give to them. Mm-hmm. Our duty is just to carry the message. How they receive it is God's decision, is God's will. Amen. So Amen. these people heard the message and repented. So when God saw that they did, um, now this is verse 10, it says, when God saw what they did and how they turned from their evil ways, he relented. Okay, Mm. and he did not bring on them the destruction he had written. So Mm. through Jonah, he gave them a warning. When the people Mm. repented, he relented. He withdrew. He didn't bring upon the punishment, Mm. right? Mm. That is how Mm. God works. Now let's move Mm. on to chapter four. This is where the problem is. This is where we must learn. Everything Mm. else is going on okay. Now we get to chapter four. Jonah obeyed the Lord by going to speak. But what was in his heart? So Jonah chapter four, verse one opens by saying, I'm using ERV. Jonah was not happy that God saved the city. This is a prophet. He wasn't happy that the city was saved. Jonah became angry. He complained to the Lord and said, Lord, I knew this would happen. I was in my own country and you told me to come Mm -hmm. here. Almost telling God that, Lord, you wasted my time. If you knew you were going to forgive these people, why did you even send me? I knew your heart, right? This is what uh, Jonah is telling God. At that time, I knew that you would forgive the people of this evil city. So I decided to run away to Tashish, like power is in his hands. Like he's the one who needs to do what he was doing for the people. You see, I knew that you're a kind God. I knew that you show mercy and don't want to punish people. How selfish. So Jonah actually knew God. For him to have been a prophet, he knew everything about God, right? He -hmm. goes on to say, I knew that you are kind. And if these people stopped sinning, (laughs) you would change your plans to destroy them. So now, Lord, just kill me. It is better for me to die than to live. How selfish can one be? So he decides (laughs) it's it's either they die or I die. Now that they are not dying, just kill me. (laughs) You see? So do you remember that Jonah prayed to God, Mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. When he was still inside the fish, you remember chapter two, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jonah prayed. He prayed mm-hmm. to be saved. He prayed. It was a prayer of rescue. It was mm-hmm. a prayer of grace. So mm-hmm. God, him, the, God gave Jonah the grace. Mm-hmm. Immediately he finished praying. God heard. And he told, he's the one who instructed the fish to mm-hmm. vomit Jonah, right? So Jonah comes out and forgets. He comes mm-hmm. out. He knows God has has given him that grace, but he does not want God to extend grace to other people. He doesn't want (laughs) others to experience the grace of God. He forgot about his own prayer, right? People quickly forget. So this is what we often do. This is what people like love to do. Things must work out for them. Those things that they are doing in secret, which we don't know about, they confess Mm -hmm. and they are fine. Now, when we see your sin, we mm. want you to be punished. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Why does it work like that? Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. sins. Everybody goes yeah. against the will of God. But yeah. when it suits us, because you didn't see me sin, because I sin differently mm. from you, I'm in mm. France wanting mm. judgment on you. Mm. Mm. That is what we often do, right? 
So like Jonah, we pray and ask for forgiveness when we've mm -hmm. messed up, mm -hmm. right? We feel we deserve the forgiveness, but then mm -hmm. we feel bad when others, other people mess up and they are yeah. forgiven. We feel mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. We want mm -hmm. them to be punished. Just think about that. Mm -hmm. So Jonah's problem was that God was kind and he shows mercy. Can you imagine? Yeah. That was the only problem. That is why he even paid his own fate to run away. Amen. Do you see yourself Amen. doing these things that Jonah is doing? How we want people punished. <laughs> <laughs> How people mm. must go through a certain yeah. process mm. which you didn't go through for the same sin which we haven't known about. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> Only true. God knows this secret. Mm. Mm. Amen. Mm. Amen. So the people didn't even know actually that Jonah was thinking like this in his head. Mm -mm. Let's read on. We are going to see Jonah chapter 4 verse 4. But the Lord replied, mm -hmm. is it right for you to be angry? So after this, I noted that Jonah didn't even bother to respond. Mm -hmm. He was just sulking like, ah, he even went away. You can mm -hmm. see that for yourself. Jonah didn't respond to God. Who does mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. He just sucked and walked away. He went out and sat. He went outside the city and sat there. That is, that mm -hmm. is a prophet of God. That is somebody who is working for mm. God. Mm. So sometimes mm. we don't even know the hearts of man, right? Mm. So there he made himself a shelter. This is what mm. we are told. He sat mm. inside in, in its shade and waited to see what would happen to the city. So mm. in his heart, Jonah mm. was really hoping that that city would be destroyed. Mm. That is why mm. he sat outside. He moved away and said, let me watch and see. He told God, mm. it's better mm. I die. It's either mm. that city is destroyed or you kill me. <laughs> that is him. So he's waiting for the city to be destroyed mm. because he's still alive anyway. Mm. So mm. then the Lord God provided a leafy plant and made it grow. You know, God is so wise. Mm. He knows better how to minister to us. He mm. knows how to mm. speak to us using mm. parables or just mm. using situations that are around mm. us. So mm. here we see the Lord making a plant grow, right? And it grows up over Jonah to give him shade mm. for his head to mm. ease his discomfort. It was hot. So Jonah was so happy about the plant. It's like, oh, you know, I, I've got shade over me. You know how we love to sit in the shade. So while he's waiting, remember, he's waiting for the city to be destroyed. <laughs> so he's very happy. He's very, he's made himself comfortable here. And he's thinking the Lord loves him alone. That city must go for all the things that they have done. But he has forgotten the prayer that he made there. He has also forgotten that he was disobedient. But mm -hmm. he, God didn't destroy him for being disobedient. That is why he is under this tree, right? So then, but at dawn the mm -hmm. next day, God provided a worm which chewed the plant so that it withered. When the sun rose, God provided a scorching east wind and the sun blazed on Jonah's head so that he grew faint. He wanted to die and said, it would be better. You know, Jonah, he had problems of his own. It's like mm -hmm. he felt he was a special kid. How yeah. many of us are feeling so special when things mm -hmm. are happening to us? It's like, ah, who should they happen to if not mm -hmm. you? So now Jonah, <laughs> he is enjoying the shade just like we do. We enjoy health. When we get sick, we are so annoyed with God. Yeah. Why God? Mm -hmm. Why God? But who? Who mm -hmm. should get sick? Mm -hmm. Not you. Okay. So now Jonah mm -hmm. is enjoying the nice shade and all of a sudden it withers. So now he says he wants to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jonah, not long ago you were happy. You were so happy sitting under the shade. All of a sudden, you are annoyed. Mm -hmm. So he's moving from anger and pleasure, right? <laughs> he says, it would be better for me to die than to live. Mm -hmm. This is Jonah throwing a tantrum. Life is mm -hmm. revolving around him. That is what he thinks. When you are broke, life is revolving around you. You know, mm -hmm. then God, you must bring God to account. Hey, God, you see other people, they've got this, other people, they've got that. Mm -hmm. But you are forgetting that you've been given money. Maybe you've even just misused it. Then you mm -hmm. come back. We are mm -hmm. told that mm -hmm. people do wrong things. They do whatever they want and they blame mm -hmm. God for that. Mm -hmm. That is what happens, right? So now Jonah says, it's better I just die. Mm -hmm. But God said to Jonah, is mm -hmm. it right for you to be angry about that plant? Mm -hmm. And Jonah mm -hmm. answers majestically, <laughs> it is. <laughs> he feels it, he feels it's his right. Mm. He said, and I'm so angry, telling God, and I'm mm. so angry. I wish I were dead. That is how we behave. Most of us mm. behave like mm. this. Mm. 
Mm. We want our way. We are there. Yeah. I'm so yeah. angry. You know, who does that? So what's your problem today? Did mm. Jesus die only for you? No, he didn't. He mm. died for everyone. God died for that thief. God died for that prostitute. Mm. Yeah. God died for mm. that person you're calling a witch. Mm. God died for yeah. your, he died mm. for everyone. Mm. Even mm. those who are doing wrong things, he died for them. Remember, mm. Jonah wasn't perfect. The fact mm. that he disobeyed God, he wasn't mm. perfect. Yeah. yeah. But mm. he wanted judgment to be passed mm. on others and not him. That is mm. us. Mm. Just because we are here gathered in church, we are looking at our spouses mm. and thinking, he didn't come to change, she didn't mm. come to change. God must, he, God must take away that job of his so that he can learn. <laughs> <laughs> Your child doesn't show up for change. Ah. So my child thinks, oh, this, God must take away that school so that she can learn or he can learn. So we are busy wow. wanting judgment yeah. to be passed. But what about us? Mm. We are not mm. perfect, mm. right? Mm. Mm. So God loves everyone. Mm. This mm. story of Jonah is teaching us about God's love. Mm. It's teaching us about God's mm. mercy. It's teaching us mm. about God's kindness. It's mm. teaching us about how he cares for each one of us. Mm. Every individual is precious mm. to God. Each one of us is precious. Mm. Amen. Mm. So it talks about God's people, but it also talks about ministry away from the people. Yes, those yeah. people had sinned. Those people needed you know, to experience the grace of God. But again, mm. it comes back to ministry. Yes. God didn't run out of people to send to Nineveh. You know, he could have sent anybody. There were other people around. Besides mm. this part of Jonah, it's a minor, minor prophet, right? But he could have sent anybody else to go and speak to the people. Yeah. He could have sent someone else because Jonah was not willing. He ran away, basically. We have evidence he ran mm. away. That's why they threw him out, <laughs> right? They mm. threw him out there. He could even have saved... Um, Nineveh in whatever way he chose. God could have chosen mm -hmm. another way of saving Nineveh. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. in this instance, he chooses mm -hmm. to give Jonah mm -hmm. a second chance. Yeah. He chooses to give yeah. you and I yeah. a second chance. It is not your choice that you have given a second chance. It is because the Lord loves you. It Amen. is because of his mercy. It is because mm -hmm. of his grace. Amen. 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 But Amen. so Jonah was a prophet, like I said earlier, right? Mm. But at this point, he didn't want to do his job. Mm. He knew when you're a prophet, you speak. We look at yeah. Jeremiah, we look yeah. at Ezekiel. We look. God was sending them. Whether you want or not, you shall speak. When you're a prophet, you shall speak. Yeah, Don't mm. lie, mm. right, if you're a true mm. prophet. Mm. So from the outside, he seemed like the man. Mm. Remember, nobody knew what was <coughs> happening in, in Jonah's life at this moment. Only God. And the people who threw him off the board, the other people were looking at Jonah as the go-to prophet, just like mm. we see other people. We mm. are looking at, oh, that bishop, that pastor, oh, that evangelist, oh, this one and that one, the apostle and everything, they are looking perfect to us, right? Mm. And mm. we don't know the yeah. real issues. We don't know yeah. the matters of the heart, mm. right? Yeah. So when he spoke, mm. people listened. When people preached to us, we listen. When I'm preaching, people are listening. Amen, amen. Oh, Francine, mm. that was powerful. powerful. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what is in my heart? Do you mm. know how much I've struggled to even tell you that God loves you? Meanwhile, I'm feeling yeah. like the special one. You have no idea. So we are listening, but we don't know the struggles that these preachers are going through, right? So everything is going on well with Jonah's ministry until God gives him an assignment. Mm. So Jonah has been doing his own things, perhaps. Mm. He hasn't had mm. a real assignment. Then God says, now, mm. eh, here is Nineveh. I don't want this city to pay. I want you to go. And Jonah says, ah, Jesus, I know you. I know you. I know how you are. Mm. So when he's given an assignment, all of a sudden his heart is exposed. Yeah. If he had yeah. not been given this kind yeah. of assignment, yeah. we wouldn't have known that Jonah mm -hmm. was a, disobe mm -hmm. a disobedient prophet. We would mm -hmm. have just been saying, hey, mm -hmm. he can preach. Mm -hmm. Did you see yeah. the anointing, how people mm -hmm. fall? When he just mm -hmm. walks on stage, he just lifts the hand and everybody, hey. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have done. So a lot of people are called into ministry, right? Yeah. But yeah. with time, their hearts are exposed. What yeah, they teach yeah. and what is in their heart are two different things. This mm. is what I'm learning here. 
They will mm. teach. They will teach what suits them. But deep mm. down in their heart, they are failing to give you that word which God has given to you. The Lord yeah. is saying, that, yeah. you know, sometimes he will tell somebody to tell you that God is promoting mm. you to this level. God is mm. going to use you in this way and that way. Mm. They have trouble. Mm. It provokes mm. jealousy in them when they're yeah. able to yeah. see yeah. the goodness of God over your life. This is mm. what happens, unfortunately. So this is what Amen. we are learning from Jonah. He meant well, but when it was time for him to show the goodness of God, he didn't want to. Mm. This is mm. what people are experiencing outside. When they should come to us and encourage us, when they should come to us and tell us exactly what the Lord has said, they withhold us because yeah. they think we are going to be big headed, because they think we are going to be overconfident, because they think you know, we are going to buy yourself a microphone and keyboard and start your own church. So they won't save you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so for Jonah, serving became a problem. Serving became a problem. He wanted his will and not the will of God to be done in this matter. Amen. That is why he ran away. He wanted his will over God's will. So life became about him. It was his comfort and nothing else. It's what yeah. I want, Lord. That yeah. is what he's telling God here. Yeah. Not your yeah. will. Yeah. I know mm -hmm. how you are. Let mm -hmm. me deal with them. Just destroy them. <laughs> this is how John, <laughs> Jonah is, you know, operating here. Yeah. But, you know, the end of this book reads, this uh, gets to Jonah chapter 4 mm -hmm. and verse 10. Just at the end there, something I note. But the Lord said, I'm using NIV, you have been concerned about this plant. Remember when Jonah went to sit outside? Mm -hmm. He put up mm -hmm. a shelter, but the yeah. Lord made a plant to grow over and give him so much shade, right? Mm -hmm. And then the Lord brings up a worm and it eats it and the plant withers. But the Lord says to Jonah, you have been concerned about this plant, though you did not even tend or make it grow. Mm -hmm. You have no idea how this plant grew. You mm. didn't even water it. Eh, why are mm. you annoyed? Mm. Why do you get annoyed over things that you haven't done anything about? Mm. Basically, this is what God is saying. Mm. It sprang mm. up overnight and died overnight. Mm. And should I not have concern for the great city of Nineveh, in which there are more than 120,000 people mm. who cannot tell mm. their right hand from their left and mm. also many animals? So God was telling him, you are concerned about something you didn't yeah. even grow. Yeah. Should I not be concerned <laughs> yeah. about the mm. people I have created? Mm. Yeah. Should I not be concerned mm. about your children? Should mm. I not be concerned about mm. your spouse, about mm. your parents, about your in-laws, about your boss, about everybody I have created on this earth? Mm. What yeah. religion they belong to? Should mm -hmm. I not be concerned because I am the one who has created everybody, whether they are ethnic, Amen. whether they are Muslim, Amen. whether they are Buddhist, he doesn't care. He's mm -hmm. just saying, should I not be concerned about Amen. all these people? Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is the message of Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He loves everybody. He wants everyone. Amen. Yes. Amen. So as Amen. I read this part, I could actually feel God's compassion over, mm -hmm. over Nineveh and over mm -hmm. Jonah himself. Mm -hmm. He could have destroyed mm -hmm. Jonah. He mm -hmm. could have dismissed Jonah, mm -hmm. but he still came and reasoned with Jonah and spoke to him. Even when Jonah was sulking, he didn't do anything yeah. to him. Mm -hmm. That city, he could have destroyed it, like he said, but he had so much compassion. He looked at the city and said, I love everybody in this city. I want yes. everyone mm -hmm. to be saved. I want everyone mm -hmm. to repent. I'm giving you mm -hmm. a chance. Mm -hmm. If you don't want mm -hmm. it, then I'm going to mm -hmm. move. But if you take it, then mm. I'm not going to move. This is what Amen. he's saying to everyone. Amen. Amen. And I think when he was speaking to Jonah, he was very soft to him. Jonah, should I not be concerned? Surely yeah. mm. these are the mm. people that I have created. Look at us mm. as parents. Mm. Are we not concerned about their, our children? Mm. Some mm. parents are concerned about their children who are mm. murderers, who are thieves. They cry mm. for them. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. That is the mm -hmm. love of the Father. That is how mm -hmm. he loves each one of mm -hmm. us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. In Amen. conclusion, I would like to remind us all about the grace of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You mm -hmm. and I have work to do. You and I need mm -hmm. to speak about the grace of God. That is what mm -hmm. salvation mm -hmm. is about. Mm -hmm. Nobody ends salvation. Mm -hmm. 
You know, it is not because our mm. of our deed. It is because of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ, and we need to talk about His love. Mm. We need to talk mm. about His kindness and His mercies. That is the true gospel. It is yeah. not prosperity yeah. gospel. It is mm. not about us coming and promising people that they are going to get jobs and they are going to be rich. It is about mm. bringing people to the cross, Amen. speaking to people so they can find Jesus. They can repent. They can turn away. In Joel, mm. we were being reminded the other day when I was talking about. Um, rend your heart, not your garments. Mm, God wants mm. your heart. God wants everybody. Mm, Amen. Mm, Let's mm. lead people to the cross. Amen. I just have a few more scriptures that um, I'm going to read and then we'll close. Please don't get um, irritated or get tired of scriptures. I'm supposed to use more scriptures than give stories of myself or other people. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. We are supposed Amen. to teach using the word and not just yeah. come here without mm. any scripture reference. I'm just mm. giving stories. Mm. No. So don't get tired when I bring up a lot of scriptures mm. because mm. whatever we are teaching, it must mm. be scripture based. Amen. Amen. Mm. I want to read from Romans chapter 10. That is why I'm saying all of us have work to do. We are in the mm. kingdom. We know the love of, we have tasted and we have seen. Now mm. let us tell others about this love. Let us not get tired. It reads verse 13, Romans 10, 13. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord in prayer, mm. I'm using amplified, will be saved. Mm. But how will people call on him in whom they have not believed? Yeah. And how will they believe in him of whom they have not heard? So there are some people out there who have mm. never heard about the word of God. They don't mm. know him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have mm -hmm. grown up in situations where the mm -hmm. name of God is never mentioned. His wonders, his miracles, mm -hmm. salvation, yeah. nothing yeah. has been mentioned mm -hmm. to him, right? Mm -hmm. So how can they call upon him when they have never heard about him? Mm -hmm. And how will they hear without a preacher, without a messenger, mm -hmm. without you and me? How mm -hmm. will they hear? That is yeah. why it is wrong for you and I to just want to be friends. And mm -hmm. then when we go out to the offices, we just want those who belong to God to mm. be our friends. How will, mm. the, how will we preach to the others mm. if we stick mm. to ourselves? I'm not saying mm. we are going to conform ourselves to the standards of mm. the world, no. Mm -hmm. But we need to mix with other people who don't know God. They need to feel the love. Sometimes we don't even need to sit and say, hey, John chapter one. No, mm -hmm. it is just the love that we yeah. show to them. Yeah. We minister yeah. to them. Mm -hmm. It is mm -hmm. how we relate to people around us. That mm -hmm. is how they, they get to know about mm -hmm. the love of God. Then they'll be wondering, why mm. is this person so different from this one? They'll mm. come to know your mm. God by mm. what you do. Amen. 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 And how will they preach unless mm. they are commissioned and sent for that purpose? Amen. Right. Amen. So you'll be sent. We have all been mm. commissioned, the great commission. Yeah. We are supposed to go out and preach the good news. It's all of us. Amen. 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 I also want to read from 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. I'll use New King James. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and mm. to come to the knowledge of the truth. Mm. It is God's desire that everyone is saved. And in 2 Peter 3, 9, I'll use NIV. It reads, the Lord is not slow in keeping his promise. Yeah. As some understand slowness. Instead, mm -hmm. he is patient with you, not mm -hmm. wanting anyone to perish, but mm -hmm. everyone to come to repentance. Some people mm -hmm. have been saying, Yeah, Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. come today, come today, come today. Mm -hmm. They are thinking he's going to be saying, Oh, he promised he would come. He is not slow because we are told that you know, a thousand mm -hmm. years here to him is like a day, mm -hmm. a day to him is like a thousand mm -hmm. years to us. So to yeah. us, we are understanding this as he mm -hmm. is slow, maybe he's mm -hmm. not even coming, mm -hmm. you know. Mm. But he's giving everybody a chance to repent. Amen. He is giving Amen. a chance to everybody mm. to hear his word and come to him. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. So he doesn't want anybody to perish. Every soul is precious to him. He died Amen. for Amen. each soul. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. So let's not be like Jonah. Let's mm. not run away when we are sent. Remember, we are commissioned. Let's mm. not hide. Let's not think the way it's just for Francine to preach to people. It's just for Francine to bring this one to the Lord. It is all of us in the kingdom. Mm. We are commissioned. We've been sent. Well, mm. you might not have been asked to create to open a church or mm. to open a ministry, but mm. the people that you are mixing with, they can come to know the Lord through you. 
That is what it means. Amen. 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 Let's allow God's will to be done in us and through Amen. us. Amen. Amen. So Amen. Job, Jonah, not Job, Jonah didn't want the will of God to be done in him. Mm -hmm. And he didn't want the will of God to be done through him. Mm -hmm. That is why he was hiding. But let us not be like him. Let us submit mm -hmm. to the spirit of the living God. Let us give our mm -hmm. hearts to him and let us be obedient. We cannot do all these things by ourselves. Mm -hmm. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. Sister Lorraine mm -hmm. was just playing a, a song there, which was talking about, you know, he, he, he enables us. He empowers us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. We mm -hmm. see how the people in the book of Acts were empowered. Mm -hmm. He empowers us. Mm -hmm. So we are able to go out. So if you are afraid, if you are fearful, speak to the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit. Let him mm -hmm. give you the boldness. We haven't been given a spirit of fear. We've been given mm -hmm. a spirit of love, of power. You know, and of mm -hmm. a sound mind. So we mm -hmm. can't be fearful when we have God in us. We can't be fearful. We are going to be bold. We are going to speak. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. Let's amen. allow the will of God to reign in our lives. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining. Let us just pray together. Amen. Amen.